it's here. You guys have asked for it and I do nothing if not deliver. They call me the midwife for a reason. It's the Salt Dating Show. <laughs> and I am setting up an incredible date for Kez. We've got three guys waiting in the wings and you're gonna choose who you want to go on a date with, but not from their faces, oh no, no, not even from what they've got to say about themselves. What their friends and family have got to say about them. <laughs> what are you hoping for? What do you look for in a date? Who do you oh, want to meet? Uh, fun, fun people, I love yeah. to laugh. Mm -hmm. So if they get me laughing, that's great. Okay, so when it comes to a bloke, is there anything physically that attracts you? Anything um, that catches your eye? Obviously, we're all about personality, but if you were. Yeah. I think eyes. Did you say um, biceps? <laughs> Was it the biceps? Just the biceps? I said eyes. Six pack. Lauren? <laughs> <laughs> no, eyes and nose. Are you in my head? just, no, eyes. eyes. Um, How tall are you? Five seven. Five seven, okay. On a good day. So you're, <laughs> when you're really sitting when out I'm straight. I'm really standing in my posture. Okay. And so not super short, not no, super I'm, tall. I'm, I'm there, like just above average. Just apparently. above average. Okay. I don't feel particularly short, and I don't feel particularly tall. Mm. Okay. But when it comes to guys, I'd say quite a lot of them are near my height, or mm -hmm. like a look. I've I haven't really dated like very very tall guys. Okay. Yet. Okay, but is would that be like a hard no, no or no, a like no. I'm open no, to I'm very, very seeing open. what's going on up there? Very open. And do you <laughs> like accents? Yeah. You yeah. do. Any yeah. particular favourite accent? Anything Irish. you're like, Irish. I've been told that my British accent is a little bit posh. Don't know. Oh, hello there, Eve. It's great to see you. So it is. Nick. Nick is our first <laughs> batch of bachelor number one. I'm going to fire a couple of really quick questions Go for at it. You. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Ideal first date. Ideal first date is got to be on a Ferris wheel. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite type of food? Favorite type of food. I love Indian food, which I know is a risky one for a date, but I just think it's delicious. Favorite drink? Favorite drink for me has, I've come to love Guinness. Yeah, I okay, love beer, but Guinness nice. is just go-to every single pub. It's yeah. a meal in a glass. Absolutely. If you're an animal, what animal would you be? Oh, I would absolutely have to be a meerkat. Yeah. Meerkat? Yeah, just okay. keeping an eye out. Yeah, yeah, no, nice. A little guarded. And what would be your superpower? I I would love to never get the hiccups again. That would be great. It would be a good superpower. And to take hiccups away from other people. You know, you could change the what world. What a gift. Yeah. I was doing a prayer walk with a friend the other day, and I got hiccups, and I just had to pray through it. <laughs> and it was distracting. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I could have done with that. Right. The world doesn't need a superhero. We need someone to get rid of minor inconveniences. We need fewer hiccups. Yeah. That's, that's exactly <laughs> it. Bachelor number two, guys. This is Dan. Um, okay, cool. I'm going to quick fire you some questions just so you can okay. get to know you a little All bit. All right, cool. Okay. Ideal first date. Um, something really boring, actually. Like, sure. incredible, like the most boring thing you can think of. Just sat down. Um, with some cameras, just chatting on the sofa, something like that, where you're not. Love begins. Yeah, yeah, where there's no activities, because otherwise you can't tell if you like the person you're with or what you're doing. Favorite food? Um, probably pizza or anything to do with like breaded chicken as well. Have a lot of breaded chicken. Not time for that. Favorite yeah. drink? Coke, definitely. If you're an animal, what would you be? Oh, what question? Um, I'm not sure. I think my. Dad or mum would probably say like a gorilla or a lion because um, I eat and sleep quite, you know. Sure. That's some of my favourite activities. What would be your superpower? My superpower? Um, I think like a few extra hours in the day. Okay, bachelor number three. It's Dave. I'm going to shoot some quick fire questions at you. <laughs> Ideal first date? The seaside. Okay. Favourite food? Uh, barbecue. Favourite drink? Uh, at the moment, water. Boring, oh, this is the most ready salted answer. I know. I know what else um, to say. I like other drinks too. Okay. <laughs> other drinks are available. <laughs> um, if you're an animal, what animal would you be? Giraffe. <laughs> I should have guessed that one. I thought of all these. These are the obvious yeah. questions. I already know these questions. Answers. What is? What would be your superpower? Um, oh, just Superman in general. Just Fly, all flying strength. Um, locks. Yeah. Locks. 
locks. It's in the hair? Curly locks. Oh, I see. We can probably achieve that for you without the cape and everything, if you want the locks. I'm game. All right, this is it. We've met the guys. Kez hasn't met the guys, but Kez is about to meet their mates. So she's not just sitting with her back to me to be rude. It's because <laughs> we've got some very important people. Guys, why don't you introduce yourselves? I'm Pete, I'm next friend. Hey, Pete. Hi, Pete. I'm Matt, I'm Dan's friend. Hi, Matt! <laughs> Stephen, I'm Dave's brother. Hi, hey, Stephen. Stephen. Okay, cool. Well, Kezia is dying to find out about these incredible blokes. Yeah. So why don't you jump in with your first question? My first question is, what would be their ideal woman? And I'll ask Nick's mate first. Nick is a very energetic, enthusiastic guy. And I think he's pretty easily pleased. So if you can match his enthusiasm, um, you'd be on the right track. And... Um, He's a great cook as well, so if you enjoy eating food, you'll uh, you'll be right up the street. Okay, amazing. Oh, What's I his, like, like that. Favorite dish to to make? Pasta, for sure. You love pasta. <laughs> this oh, is stop it! All right, thanks for coming, guys. We're just closing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so okay, perfect. good. Okay, no, great no, to sure. know. Okay, so Dan's Dan's friend. Uh, yeah, so he gave me a list of like a hundred things uh, to say you had to fit. Um, but he said beautiful, godly, uh, and low maintenance as well was uh, something he is looking for. I think it's because he's quite high maintenance himself. So okay, I'm okay. What does that mean, <laughs> Dave's? Can I say brother? Yeah, Dave's yeah. bro. Uh, well, Dave, I think Dave likes a challenge. He likes someone that's. Uh, not going to let him let him off things easily and someone that will surprise him. So if you were like taking him on a first date, you know, a, 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 an off the beaten track first date, take him like kite surfing or something, that'd be, uh, that'd be great today. Really off the track, also, not on the track at all. I love mm. how Dave's brother is on the right side of history here. Because if you were taking Dave <laughs> out yeah. on a date, yeah. you know, <laughs> that's it. Don't leave your wallet at home, that. Missy. Yeah. Let's imagine hypothetically that there's a CFR chance of romance and we've been going out for a little bit what would um, they get me for my birthday and I'm going to ask Stephen first Dave's mm. brother well obviously Dave is very conscientious and you would have been dropping hints for what you want for your birthday so Dave would have taken all the notes you would know exactly what you want for your birthday and he'd get you that uh, but, but, uh, or again an experience like that something two of you could do and really enjoy uh, he, he's pretty good at that uh, what about Dan's friend? With sort of his male friends, he's, he's quite tight uh, with his money and things. Um, from personal experience, I can say that. But when it comes to women and, and dating and things like that, he doesn't, he doesn't hold back. So, you know, you're in the right position if you choose him. Um, he'll go big, some uh, extravagant date or something like that, or a picture maybe of you together. He might draw or something like that. Does, Does he... he draw? It's not too bad, it's not too bad. It wouldn't be his biggest strength, but it's not too bad. Okay, uh, Nick's friend. Nick is a fun-loving guy, so I think um, whatever you would get for your birthday, it would be great, but he also likes to go quite deep. So I think um, if it was, you know, your first, your first year together, it was your birthday, he would get you some kind of Bible study material that you can both do together. Amazing, I really, no, I really don't. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. <laughs> Yes, you would. Third question, third and final question. What is something that they wouldn't want me to know? Or they wouldn't tell me <laughs> on a first date? Uh, so let's go with Dan's friend first. He's, he's, very, uh, he's very picky. He's very stuck in his ways. Um, so if you enjoy those ways, it'll work out well. Um, but yeah, he's quite, he's very intense. Um, so if you want to take him off my hands, that'd be great. He's quite confident, I'm, I'm getting. He is, yeah, very confident in himself. Um, so if you, if you meet up with him, um, yeah, he's, he's a good looking fella, he's confident in himself, um, and recently became a Christian the last couple of years. So, uh, and he's, he's doing really well on that side. What celebrity would you say he looks most like? Just to try, try and throw a little picture out there for Kezia. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I mean, he, he you know, he, he likes the way he looks a lot. Um, <laughs> I think if you could, um, if you can like him more than he likes himself, then you'll be on something good. <laughs> I don't really, I don't know if you're trying to sell him to me or <laughs> warn me of him. <laughs> just, oh, this would take a lot for me to be like, jump in, yes. 
Uh, okay, um, Nick's friend next. Well, Nick is from California originally, and someone likes an accent, so I, yeah. Well, yeah, we'll go for the exotic side of him there, but that's pretty much where it stops. He's not very Hollywood esque. He loves to do impressions, but they are terrible. <laughs> His impressions are awful most of the time. Um, and I know he's listening to this, but he needs to know. <laughs> does, does he think they're really good? <laughs> this is actually an intervention against yeah, yeah. his accents <laughs> and impressions. <laughs> I, I would be the one to tell him on the first day. Um, yeah, so does, so does he think that his impersonations are really good? Is that is that what he... I don't think he, he thinks they're good, but he likes to do them. And it doesn't matter. He doesn't care whether they're good or not. So, so, so Nick's friend, this is, this is something that he wouldn't want me to know. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, once you've heard them, you'll, be, you'll just ask him to stop. Please ask him to stop. <laughs> I feel like this is something that you don't want me to know. <laughs> okay, amazing. Um, and Dave's brother. So, well, Dave, he would probably dispute this and wouldn't want me to tell you, but he is strangely accident prone. But like after 30 years of being accident prone, he's managed to turn it into like this super positive thing where something will happen and he'll be like, yeah, don't worry, I've got this. So like there was this one story where he, uh, he was fishing and this is like kind of crosses into him being an animal lover. He was fishing and he managed to catch a fish and he got it caught in the tree and he was like, oh no, I've got to save this fish. And there was a bathtub next to the fishing pond. So he was like, right, he set sail in this bathtub to try and get this fish. And obviously the bathtub sank. Well, can I ask you the same question I asked Dan's mate? Is there a celebrity that you think he looks like? He's a bit unfortunate in that he's super tall. So he's like six, seven. So he just always gets compared to anyone who's tall. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. Okay. I feel like we have to ask Nick's friend the same question. We need to ask Nick's friends the same question. Yeah. yeah. Is, there a, is there a celeb that you'd like to tell Kezia that he looks a lot like? He looks exactly like Ron Swanson from Parks and Rec. You've ever seen that? <laughs> <laughs> so you've met mm. two two friends, one brother. Yeah. Let's go through them. Yeah. Let's start with what? Let's start with Nick. Yeah. What did you think of what? Nick's I really, mate said? I really like what Nick's mate said about his like how he is with God yeah. and like I was getting a lot of his like kindness and a sense of his like just caring nature. And then Dan. Dan sounds like it could be a, a challenge, like a, like a, oh, yeah. oh, it's a risk. It's so you feel like your wild card risk choice. Risk is a fair word. Risk, yeah. yeah. Wild but with cards. high risk comes high reward. Potentially. Stop it. Um, <laughs> and we know that he's, we know that he's good looking. And then there's okay. Dave, Dave. And I feel like I know the most about Dave. Do you? Yeah, Dave's brother was very good at giving information, like kind of subtly. Dave's brother went in with a bit of a sales pitch. Yeah. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. I really feel like I, I've got a, the, the strongest picture of Dave. Okay. Um, what does that picture from, look like? How tall he is, what yes. he's for work, what he's like, how he treat me in a relationship. Do you know what I mean? That's like all of his old. charity work. <laughs> <laughs> Slip that in, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I could narrow it down to Dave and Nick. Dave and Nick, okay. So. Or, da or, da <laughs> or, da <laughs> or Dave. <laughs> okay. The common denominator here, though, is Dave. Do you feel like you've made your choice? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yes. Who are you going for? I, tonight, Lauren. <laughs> tonight, Lauren. I'll, I'll be dating. I'll be dating Dave. Nice. <laughs> This is amazing. It is pretty good, isn't it? I'm excited, I'm very hungry. Uh, yes, yeah. So how have you found it? I, I found it really good today, actually, yeah. I mean, um, meeting the guys was a really, really <laughs> funny experience. <laughs> we, yeah. we, we've, we've had some really good conversation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you, oh. do you, Thank you. Thank you. It's <laughs> great. Um, so, That's class seven. <laughs> initially the audio wasn't great and so we were listening to the audio and what they're saying about us what they're saying about yeah. us and then that story was in the middle about the boat and that's the first i heard of him talking about me and i was like oh, the boat story. it's amazing it's amazing i was like you know it made you stand out <laughs> enjoy thank amazing. you everyone. 
So I, I love that. That's amazing. Yeah. But does that downsize then to cats? Absolutely not. Dogs? I like dogs more. <sighs> There it is. I'm a dog person, I'm a cat yeah, person. Yeah, not the cat person. I, do, it's not, I don't have, I don't not like cats. I just don't, they don't really like anyone, do they? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. Um, so Giraffes like, like everyone. They're not fussed about us and I'm not fussed about them. But yeah. dogs are very, they just love it, aren't they? Loyal. Dogs are ready when you come They need us. Did you enjoy the day? <laughs> yeah. I thought the day was great. I thought the day was really cool. I really enjoyed it. Glad we you had said a good that. chat. And um, yeah, it was really nice rushed like quite sure wasn't it it was rushed yeah and it was very cheesy but when you yeah. go to Alabama, it's what do you expect so do you think that you guys are gonna swap numbers and see each other again <laughs> oh there's a question you can answer first <laughs> well i think we're both in the northwest aren't we so i'd like to think maybe we would yeah we'll, we'll discuss that offline <laughs> <laughs> Juice guys. <laughs> I think it's, it's been too short to kind of just go off of just yeah I think I think I think we should swap numbers and mm -hmm. I think we can see where it goes from yeah. there yeah